Okay, that should have me back on now. Maybe a little too loud, though. Looks like it's really going nuts here. There we go. All right. All right, how about that? Y'all should be able to hear me now. I swear sometimes my computer is... I, I haven't touched... I even went out early to check and make sure everything was working. Uh, but now I have a chipmunk voice. Okay. Now I don't. Ugh. Um, sorry, you guys. This has not been my day. This has not been my day. Um, but hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a tremendous Friday. So welcome, as we said. I'm trying to try to say everything I said before. Um... As we decided before, the last Friday of every month is going to be a drawing live stream. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and yes, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have some fun. Um, so yes. Um, but I do want to say uh, that there has already been a change to the schedule next week. I know last stream I was saying how it's going to be all lined out. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do my stream on Wednesday anymore because of circumstances that popped up that I cannot control. So, um, that's going to get pushed to Thursday now. So, unfortunately, we can't do the Disney Dreamlight Valley update on Wednesday. When it happens, it's going to happen on Thursday now. But we're still going to do it, and it's still going to be fun. Ro 994 thank you. Hey, Brian, sorry I haven't caught many lives lately. No worries. Uh, my new work schedule sadly hasn't allowed me. Oh, well, I'm glad you get to now. But I had the day off today, so glad to hop in. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, thank you. And of course, wheel spin for you. I don't think you've been around since we've added new things under the wheel, so you might get one of the new things. Uh, oh, it's you choose. Uh, just in case you haven't seen all the new things, in case, and I will uh, reiterate them for everyone who may have missed them. Um, all the classic ones are here. You know, Franken voice of your choice, voice of my choice, Johan, voice of your choice. Um, we now have a, a one called Fun Fact. So instead of just having a Disney fact for a while there, we also had a movie fact and an animal fact. We just made one. And I can do whatever fun fact I want. <laughs> it just has to be about, like, Disney movies or animals and dinosaurs because that's me. Hydrate. I have to take a drink. Stretch break. I have to stop and stretch. I even have, like, a fun video filter for it and everything. Ban hammer. You guys can ban me from doing certain things. I guess in this stream, like, maybe I'd have to draw with my hand and not the stylus or something. I don't know. Dance mode, I have to dance. Johan again. Pick the light colors. You guys can pick the light colors of the lights behind me, except for you. Uh, sing mode, I have to sing for like three minutes. And then voice filter, you can pick a voice filter that I have to talk in for three minutes. ADM, thank you. Can you draw Drac as Freddie Mercury? <laughs> um, I don't know about that. I never... Uh, I'm less wanting to draw characters that are already established and more want to just draw something random that uh, does not exist in prior media. Just we'll make something up together. We'll make something up together. So yeah, I was drawing with my hand for a while now. Okay, not that bad. Yeah, it's really not that bad. I don't know, that's the first thing I think of. Or maybe make me draw with my left hand and not my right hand. Oh, that would kill me. That would kill me. <laughs> Mickle, thank you. I uh, hope there's no railings for you to blame. There won't be in this stream. We're not playing Mario today. <laughs> not today. Uh, oh, it's sing mode. All right. Let me get my timer on. So for the next three minutes, I gotta sing. Next three minutes, I gotta sing. Boom, 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 boom. Do you have your drawing glove? I don't know where it went, so no. But that's okay. But that's okay. But that's okay. I mean, I don't really get a big problem with that when I'm drawing with my iPad. But I do have a little bit. Of issue, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. All right. Well, with that, 
what should we draw? How about a geeky dragon with a dopey smile on his face? We could do the geeky dragon. I got nothing against the geeky dragon. Got nothing against the geeky dragon. Got nothing against the cheeky dragon. Boom, 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 ATM, thank you, Vampire Bambi Deer Drawing. Like I said, I don't want to draw any characters that exist in media already. I want to make up something brand new right here. But there is actually a species of deer called the musk deer that have tusks that stick out that kind of look like vampire teeth. So it's actually kind of funny that you put that with Bambi. Unless you knew about that and that's what you were trying to get me to draw. It's Sandy on the couch. No, she is not. No, she is not. No, she is not. Is it okay if you draw with me, Brian? Go right ahead. You can draw as much as you want while you watch the stream. Do, 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 do. do you have to super chat to pick the drawing? No, no, you don't. Cause basically I'll just say some random stuff and then I pick from that what I like. So far the geeky uh, dragon is winning. <clears throat> ATM, thank you, a vampire gorilla. That's not a bad idea, even though gorillas are kind of vampire-y already. Their canines are super long. They just gotta poke out a little bit. Poke out a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, so no more of that. And then, uh, oh, Road Nine Nine Four wants Edna Mode. Well, then sure, I will do the Edna Mode only if Road Nine Nine Four does not wear any capes. No capes. I'm gonna. You know what? I like the I like the dragon with the dopey smile. I like the dragon with the dopey with the dopey smile. So we're gonna hop into that. I'm gonna turn down the music just a hair. Where's the where's my thing for that? There we go. There we go. Turn it down just a hair. Well, at least it was loud to me. I don't know if it was loud to y'all. All right. Uh, oh, this is gonna be awkward. Okay. I've changed my setup since the last time I did this, and right now my microphone was right where I kind of need to be to draw. So, and I will make sure I angle this down a little bit so y'all can see me while I doodle here. Um, now let's see here. Oh, by the way, just to clarify, how do you broadcra broadcast Procreate on your PC? I have an app that lets me do it. That is an app that I got. Um, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, wrong way. There we go. That's better. That's better. Um, well, with that, so we want to do a dopey dragon. So, let me think. Dopey dragon with a big old smile. Well, first, let me get. I like my. Uh, well, actually, no. If I'm doing just the. I go by what I've learned from uh, watching, watching bonus features on, like Disney movies and such. Uh, as far as like how to draw I've kind of just studied that and figured out like some of the techniques like how you start with like a rough rough couple of shapes so right now I'm kind of like trying to figure out his body I'm thinking you know give him like a big old pop belly big old pop belly those are fun uh, see so yeah, I'm thinking something like that and we're kind of gonna give him kind of like kangaroo legs not straight up kangaroo because you know he's a dragon but you know enough that it kind of takes like the basic shape of a kangaroo leg I have to work out some of the anatomy on that in a second but this is just kind of fleshing it out so that we kind of have room to work
Yeah, some of the body shape will borrow from uh, Peach Dragon. Elliot from Peach Dragon, specifically. Yeah, that could use a little. No, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, see, that's the time whenever the, the thing from my hand, the glove thing would be better. Uh, Logan, thank you. Right side, I had Barra's Pizza at work today. Downside, my dad told me he might have pancreas. Oh, wow. That's a, that's, that's a pretty serious low. <laughs> pretty serious low. Uh, but here's a wheel spin for you. I hope that he doesn't. Um, oh, Johan. Well, Johan's going to come out and draw for a while. Thank goodness he can draw. Johan. Hello, everyone. It is the Johan, yeah? All right, let me set the timer. And then, of course, we have to do this. Time for fun with Johan. Time for fun with Johan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time for fun with Johan. Okay. So, with that, um, I will keep going with what I think Brian was trying to do here. I overheard we're supposed to be doing a dopey dragon. It's a big smile, yeah? Big ol' happy dragon. Um, I kind of wish Brian did this in portrait and not landscape mode, but you know what? We'll make it work. Make it like he's so big, but he's still lovable. We can totally do that. And let's see. I'm thinking, uh, so that'll kind of be where his eyes are. And, yeah, we'll raise his cheeks up like that, yeah? And then give big nose. Big nose. Um. What kind of, like, curves the neck a little bit? Because I think, I think Brian wants him to have a big, a long neck. Um, uh, but yeah. Um. That's the jawbone. Then curves into the neck. Actually, make the nose a little bit smaller. And kind of round it there. So in that way, I have I have an idea I think Brian will really appreciate. You know, um, have his arm out like he's trying to wave hello. But, you know, it's kind of being blocked by his face. So like we'll have the hand out there. And then this one will kind of be like off to the side. It's almost like he's uh, trying to wave hello while you're like inside of like a like a cave thing. So get like his eyebrows. Thank goodness Brian and I have a similar drawing style as this would be really hard to do. You could say they're almost identical. I don't know why though. But we can we can do this. I can make him a little bit smaller. So we have a little bit of wiggle room so I can do some things. Like if I want to put horns or something, I could totally do that. Logan, thank you! I hope he doesn't as well, but we have to wait for the blood work results. Oh, I see. Right. Kids praying everything is okay. Oh, and a hydrate. Hope oh, Brian doesn't mind I drink his water. <laughs> oh, okay. Stop! I will go get Brian now. Brian! All right. Oh, okay, Johan. I see what you're going for here. I like it. Um, so, yeah, now we kind of got the basic shapes down. So, I'll probably go through... It says we don't have an egregious amount of time. I will uh, start working on a new layer that is his outline. So here we go. We'll have a nice... Ooh, no, that's too thick. Too thick. There we go. Oh, no, it didn't do what I wanted. So with Procreate, you can actually like make a curve or a straight line and it'll clean it up for you which i really like like i saw i saw i could do it there 
and that way I can get these really nice clean geometric lines unfortunately it does not work for everything which is kind of a pain but when it works it's awesome like see that that mostly worked that did mostly what I wanted not exactly but we can kind of clean that up right there and then uh yeah oh jacob thank you hey johan is your favorite breed of dog the dachshund like brian uh johan's favorite would probably be let me ask him johan what's your favorite what's your favorite breed of dog talker spaniel talker spaniel you heard it straight from johan himself So yes, if you guys are artists and you're not using Procreate, why? Make life easier on yourself and <laughs> go get it. I used to try to make uh, Photoshop work for me because everyone's like, oh, go use Photoshop. It gives you everything you want. No, it does not give me everything I want. It causes me pain and struggles and headache and heartache. It causes nothing but pain. But Procreate does the opposite. Oh, hang on. I'm not, no, I'm not feeling that. It's like I'm feeling the basic shape, but not how I did that. It's like it felt a little cheap. All right, here we go. Do that. Do that. And then I think what's going to help me out is if I change this last one to be more like and I'm just realizing now the way I'm drawing, I think you guys have a slight delay between what I'm drawing and what the screen's popping up. So sorry if it looks kind of wonky the way I'm like, oh, let me do this. And then it shows up like two seconds later. Yeah, and then we'll fix this right here. Oh. Just to help add some depth and dimension so that it looks like his skin is piling up right above his claws. And it just kind of helps to sell that this is a real living creature. Uh, what kind of computer do I have? The computer that, uh, well, I'm not drawing this on my computer. I'm actually drawing it on my iPad. But uh, the computer that I'm using, it's a PC, but I have a Mac. So I use a Mac and a PC. I have both, but which one do I prefer? It's my Mac every day of the week. <laughs> Sorry, PC people. I have a PC, but I will, I will be a Mac man probably for most of my life. Oh, I don't like the way that looked. I got all kinds of squiggly. And I couldn't get it to do it a little bit. That works. Now let's clean up this line a little bit. Okay, it's a little wonky, but that's okay. We're not demanding perfection in this stream. Let's see. Um, and then we'll get this leg going. There we go. And then we'll start doing to this leg kind of what we did to the other, this foot. There we go. That looks good. There we go. And then we're kind of building out the shape of the claws on the foot and then we'll close up that claw close up that claw and close up that claw and then to add the depth that we have on the other one we'll add the skin that's bunching up at the end of the claw I think I made that one in the middle a little too big. Because it's not giving the same illusion. So I'm going to do my best to try and explain what I'm doing with everything. Even though I did not go to art school. I can't tell you all the specifics. Ooh, now that I look at it up there. That foot looks small compared to the back foot. Which this one should be bigger if anything. Because the perspective is the things that are closer to you are going to look bigger. So I totally do that. Photoshop on PC is pretty great, but iPad Photoshop stinks for real. Well, I mean, the, the Photoshop I was doing, um, well, it doesn't help. I learned uh, Photoshop on, oh, why am I drawing? Okay, there we go. 
I learned Photoshop, at least the little that I know of Photoshop, I learned it from uh, my Mac. And then I tried to do Procreate, not Procreate, uh, I tried to do Photoshop on my PC because that was where I needed to do some of it. And then I already had a lot of struggles with it on Mac, but then flipping systems only made it like 800 times worse. So then I figured out that, oh, to do everything that I really want to do, I can do it with Procreate and never need Photoshop again. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And I was like, cool. And I tossed it. And I was like, nope, I don't need you anymore. Yeah, I feel like he, I, I feel like the claws are the right size now, but I feel like they're too sharp. Cause like that's part of the charm with the other ones is that they're a little rounded. Like you can tell they're still claws and they could probably still do some damage, but they're a little rounded. In the right circumstances, they could be terrifying, but in our circumstances, they are not. Yeah, so let's just add a little. Ooh, put the skin there. Yeah. Yeah. Logan, thank you. Who was the dopey duck turned dinosaur on Darkwing again? I think we know which one you're talking about, but I can't remember. Uh, don't lie to us. You love Chicken Little when you go to KFC. I actually don't go to KFC too often, but I heard that they had a Chicken Little. I think I posted about it on Twitter a long time ago when I first saw it. When I first saw it, I was like, that's the best kind of Chicken Little there is. I'm like, if you gotta do something with Chicken Little, that's the best way to do it, I'd say. Start doing the neck here. And then, yeah, we'll kind of do a little give to it. Kind of get that squash and stretch feel to it because he's kind of stretching his neck a little bit. Oops, that a little. Add some wrinkles right there to help show the movement of the dragon. I'm just realizing now, I did not give him any wings. We should probably do that. Well, that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to do a little bunch right here. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's a little boxier than I wanted, but I can work with it. He's kind of like closing his hand up on this side kind of, you know, just got a resting hand pose where the fingers are kind of curled in. He's kind of like resting it. But we can't see the thumb because it's on the other side. So, it just kind of looks like he's, you know, pulling his hand like that. How'd you get such clean lines? Well, like I was saying earlier, the clean lines are coming because in Procreate, if you draw a line and hold it, it'll clean it up for you. That is not a testament on my skill, but the the uh, skill in Procreate, because if you look at, the, look at his toes... I couldn't do that for some of the toes. So um, you're having to see some of my not super clean line work. I have to do it a little bit right there. Yeah, um, let me get in a little closer on the face here because you know, the face is the most important part of any character, especially the eyes. So when I do uh, dragons, oh, I'm sorry. I got a, I didn't spin the wheel for Logan or Mickle just a second ago. I'm sorry. Wheel spin for Logan. Uh, ooh, dance mode. We'll do that in a second. We spin for Mickle. We have to do dance mode. That's Johan again. Um, and then Logan, thank you again. Just looked it up. The character is Stegmut. Well, that makes sense. Like, Stegosaurus, but... Um, so we have Johan, we've got Dance Mode, and then... Uh, oh, 
it's a stretch break. We got a bunch of stuff to do. So we'll start with the dance break. Now we go to our stretch mode. We had a moment of great excitement. And now we're just relaxing. <sighs> That's nice. Very nice. I don't think that happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And with that, uh, let me get Johan and he can come in and explain what I was just about to do because he knows what I'm about to do. Johan! Hello, everyone. It is Johan, yeah? Okay, so what Brian was about to say was that when Brian is doing dragons, he likes to incorporate a lot of dinosaur things into the dragon because um, a lot of cultures... Uh, came about the idea of dragons because they found dinosaur fossils and thought it had to belong to something like a dragon. That was where kind of the folklore came from. So I think what Brian is trying to do here is... Ah, that's not what I wanted! That's kind of what I wanted. We're going to put kind of like a beak to him, but not quite like a beak beak. Not like a bird beak. Like a... Uh, like a Triceratops beak. That, I think, is what Brian is trying to go for. Oh, okay. Hang on. We are having a technical difficulty here. Let me, uh... Let me get that back. I don't know what happened there. Thank you, Logan. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let me, uh, let me get this reconnected. Hang on. Please hold. That's weird. It said it's still connected. But you were saying it's no longer connected. Yeah, and now you don't want to connect. Of course you don't. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, come on, y'all. Bring up the thingy. Johan, what did you do? I didn't do anything. It was the technology. It was already messing with Brian earlier, and just, I'm in the vicinity, so it's just gonna do that to me, too. Come on! Pull up the option! Okay, let's do this. I will try to fix it for Brian, before he gets back. I have no guarantees, though, but I will try. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, work with me here. No! Brian has to see I broke it. Brian! I'm sorry I broke it. You broke it? I didn't mean to! Oh, gosh. What's it doing? Why are you not showing up? Uh, didn't Come on. Show up. Oh, there it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Did that work? <gasps> Booyah! Okay, that should have fixed it. 
No, let's don't do that. Okay, there we go. There he goes. Yay! Okay. Oh, but that got really small. Hang on. Let me fix that. Yay! All right, we got it. I heard yesterday YouTube wasn't working for some people live streaming. Well, that one's not YouTube. That's my computer. Or it's the app. The app that I'm using to get my iPad onto my PC. Gotta get his nostrils in here. And then, uh, yeah, kind of like what Johan was saying, I'm going to add a beak. Not like a, not like a bird beak but like a Triceratops beak. No, that's not what I want. Okay, there we go. I was like, um, why isn't it following me? There we go. Now it's doing it. So yeah, this, uh, I don't know if I like this particular, like, cause you know on a Triceratops, like they have a full on, they have a beak that, uh, like, it's kind of, I think it's made out of keratin? Or is it bone? I don't know. But it's made of something. I think it's bone. Keratin is a rhino horn. Um, but yeah, so we'll put a little bit of differentiation here so that, you know, the mouth, the top jaw and the bottom jaw look different. So he's kind of got like a triceratops looking beak. Um... So that's good. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, my favorite is a Labrador because I grew up with them. They're supposed to be good for autistic people like me. I'm not sure they say that. Well, that's good. You shouldn't be ashamed to say that. Johan again. Okay, one day I'll get to tell you guys about the dinosaur stuff. All right. I'm back. Okay, let's do it one more time. With the timer. Now, let's try to draw this because we are running out of time very quickly. No, it's not what I wanted. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. And then now we start putting on the eye. And it's going to be a pretty big eye because, you know, he's big and he's friendly and he's got a dopey smile. Put the eyes there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Brian and I like to draw with this tear shape. Uh, yeah, this tear shape eye. That's typically what we like to go for. It would be helpful if... Okay, there we go. I was like, you're not showing the drawing. Okay, there we go. Actually, you know, I don't hate that. I thought I would, but I don't hate that. Brian might, but Johan does not. So close in this nostril not what I wanted. There we go. We'll do that. Yeah. And we'll do that. Yeah. Johan can go with this, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then we do the eyebrow. That actually don't hate that either. I thought I would, but I do not. Oh, that was the outside of the eyebrow, and now we draw the eyebrow itself. Okay. There. I know dragons don't actually have eyebrows. Well, dragons, we don't know what they have because they're not real. But, you know, um, reptiles don't have eyebrows, but. It's still fun, yeah? Yeah. And then we kind of give a little bump to the back of the head. Kind of adds a little bit of character. And, um, I think we should put some horns on it. Just, you know, complete the Triceratops look a little bit. Uh, not to go too crazy or anything, but we'll put like a little, little horn on the end of the nose here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, a little curve. Curve that way. Yeah. There's a little curve on the end of the nose. Nothing crazy. And we're going to do just a little bit of perspective here. There. Look at that. 
with a happy little, uh, happy little horn on the end of his nose, yeah? Michelle, oh, thank you. You want the theme song? Of course. Time for fun with your hand. Time for fun with your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time for fun with your hand. Okay, first thing with that, uh, at least we got that while I was still here. And then now, I will get Brian now. Brian! Okay, and now we'll do a wheel spin for Michelle. Have I missed any? I'm sure I have. Oh, Jacob didn't get a wheel spin earlier. Okay, hydrate. Thank you, Michelle. And now this spin is for Jacob, who I missed one before. And we get... Voice filter! Alright, what voice filter do you want, Jacob? Okay. Now, um... So, overall, I like what Johan did there. Um, and I agree with him. I overheard him a little bit. I want to add a little bit more to this Triceratops motif we've got going on, but nothing too heavy. I don't want to do a full-on frill and giant horns that look like a Triceratops, but, you know, more like a, like a little backwards horn here and a backwards horn here. No, I don't know if I like that. I like the idea of it. But I don't like the execution of it. Um. Oh, no, I messed up. Well, I can just do undo. Why do I always try to do that when I just click undo? It makes life so much better. Um, thank you, Mickle. You once had a dachshund called Simba. Nice. Nice. If you choose, Mickle, what would you like? Um, let me see here. I'm thinking... I do want to do something with his head. I think... Ooh. Accidentally had my eraser stuff. Um, I think I like the idea of horns. But instead of them, like, going backwards... No, that looks worse than just sitting up. Don't like that. Okay. Um. Do, 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 what I want to do. I think. No, I think he's okay like that. I don't know. The more I look at him without the horns, I think I like him that way. I all think. Do you think he needs like a horn or something? Or do you think? Do you think he's just good with like the, the little notch on his head right there? What y'all think? I'm gonna work on his other his claw up here. While y'all are talking about that. Oh no! No, no, redo. See, that's that's the problem that I have without using my. Uh... Oh yeah, that is too complex. That's the problem that I have when I don't have like my little glove. Is that I accidentally do that. He needs a neck. Well, he's he's gonna get his neck finished. I mean, I'm just looking at the head. Look at that. Ram horns. I can see ram horns working. You know, like we gave him some dinosaur inspiration. Why not give him some inspiration from something that is alive right now? I could see a ram horn working. Let me, let me try that. Like, give me a. Actually, yeah. Let me go in here into the rough layer. And uh, let's just sketch that out. See what that would look like. It's kind of... Well, okay. If I'd make it that big, it covers up some of the character of the head. And that just becomes a little too busy. So I don't like... At least a ram horn like that. Maybe if we made it either smaller or... No, not, not bigger. Um, maybe... If we're... Uh, Ooh, there we go. If we go with, like, some wildebeest horns, I like that. Where they go out instead of back or straight up or forward, they go out. 
Yes. I can roll with that. I can roll with that. Okay. Cool. Uh, Logan, thank you. Have I ever done an impression of Dr. Von Drake? I have attempted. Whether they actually worked or not is a whole nother, as a whole nother question. Um, thank you. Johan again. You are really good at getting Johan. <laughs> okay. Um, and Mikkel, you want King from Owl House. Um. Nee, nee. <laughs> I was doing some of his little noises. You will bow to me and worship me as your king! <laughs> or Huggies, that works too. <laughs> Alright, let's get Johan. Johan! Well, at this point, I should just stay out and let Brian not draw. Because apparently, y'all really like Johan. Okay, so let's do what Brian was talking about. No, that's all kind of weird. Don't do that. Yeah, we're going to do these uh, wildebeest horns that Brian was trying to do. Now. There we go. And then, we'll do the Wilde Beast horn. Off of that way. There. Okay, now we actually need to make it look like it's on his head and not just like behind it or something. So there we go. And that with just a little line of character. And dimension. There. There. I think that looks good, yeah? That's a little off in the middle, but let me see if I can't fix that a little bit. You know, kind of have them come up together. I like how it kind of branches off right there. Yeah, that feels more wildebeest. And I think that's more what Brian was going for, yeah? a little off still. Not by a lot. By just a little bit. Add a little bit more rounded shapes there. There we go. Oh no! I put a weird line on his face! There we go. Okay. And then I will get back to work on this hand. Have the thumb come out that way. And then the arm goes right behind the head. Ah. There we go. Now, let's really focus on the other side of the hand. So we have not really a strong pose because he's supposed to be a little goofy. He's not really like trying to do a strong wave. Like, so no really strong pose. He's more like a, hey. Well, it's just more casual. Just like, hey, what's up? Nothing crazy. So we'll complete the neck right there. We'll give a little bit of a jowl right there. And yeah. Okay, I say that's not too bad. Let me go get Brian. Brian! All right, um, so with that, we're getting really close to coloring him now. Yeah, and the tail shouldn't be too difficult because I can do my nice little procreate trick to just make this line all nice and clean. Although it is going to get a little tricky here near the end. And that's kind of like a C shape. That, oh, no. I don't want that weird thing. Here we go. So up here and there. Yeah. 
That doesn't look good right now, but it's a clean enough shape. I can just kind of clean it up and make that match because I like that curve of the shape of the tail, kind of like he's got a little twist in his tail. I don't know. Now that just kind of makes his tail kind of look like a scythe. Yeah, no, that was a little too harsh. That's too harsh of a curve. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if he, yeah, it just kind of tapered right here. Almost like he's just got a little, little kink in his tail. Like, this dragon's a little off, but in a good way. And then I'll go ahead and give him wings. I know I didn't, uh, like, plan this out in my draw in my planning stage but eh, I've drawn enough shape I've drawn enough wings in my in my day to not really need that I mean it certainly wouldn't have hurt anything but you know just to get some simple wings on him nothing crazy um okay do I'm not are the notifications popping up when y'all are doing stuff? No. Oh, I'm like, yeah, why am I not hearing these? Well, that explains it. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. And it's right on my face, though. I did not check all this shit out. Hang on, let me get in here and I can move this. You cannot see me! Now, this is gonna take a while, you guys. I know you're sure. Ah! I can see you! Yay! Alright. Would you attempt Von Drake again, please? He was uh, funny in the House of Mouse show. I, Ludric Von Drake, will attempt to try to uh, show you the wonders of the deep. Oh no, the possibility of seeing a Kraken are uh, zero point. Zero, 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 zero. See if you guys know that one. Jacob, thank you. Brian, who would win in a fight between a lion and a tiger? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Tiger. If it involves prides or groups of any kind, lion. But one-on-one, -on -one, tiger. Tiger is heavier, more uh, used to working alone. Uh, they're going to have the advantage every time. Mikkel, thank you. And thank you so much, Michelle. I saw that you wanted one of the pole by our show. And you choose, Mikkel. What would you like? All right. So let's see if I can get some more going on this dragon. Well, now that we're this far, I don't need my rough layer anymore. So I can use this time to clean some stuff up. Yeah, because now that I don't have those blue lines there anymore, you can kind of get an idea of what the clean, clean image is going to be. I noticed that this looks a little wonky. Just as far as, like, the depth of the line um there's a little bit of wonkiness over here too but nothing too crazy i don't want to be too much of a perfectionist here especially because i know we don't have a whole lot of time left um but i do want to come in here and we're gonna add an underbelly just like a thin little line for the underbelly here that'll go towards the end of the tail there we go. It's kind of classic on a dragon. I don't know if I wanted to cover the underbelly of his mouth. It's like maybe it just starts at the neck and comes down. That'll be, ah, that's not what I wanted. I think that'll be cleaner on the face so that you read more of the emotion better. 
and it's not distracting even though that's probably in nature what would really happen but you know we're I want to root him as much as I can in nature and how nature would work to make him more believable in his space but you know it doesn't have to be incredibly realistic it's more like based on uh more like using nature as like a stepping stone <sighs> Come on. to uh to come up with how he would behave now granted once again technically in reality he should have an extra bone or an extra thing right in here well i guess i can just add a line like that i'm just not going to color it a different color just because I think it's a little too distracting and it's kind of a simple wing. You don't need to do too much with it. Okay, so with that, let's add a new layer, but this one is going to be how we color. And for those of you guys who are not familiar with how animation works, this is actually a really good way to explain um, how animation worked back in the old days with Walt. Uh, when like before we did it all on computer so what I did was I put a layer behind the outline uh, and so now I can come in here with I usually like to use my airbrush medium brush that's what I like to use and I can come in here and I can paint and just come up with the color and see it does not affect the outline of the character at all when I'm coloring directly on top of it uh, this is actually a great way to harken back to uh cell shading and like cell painting inking the inking and painting process that animation used to do so in old school animation you would actually have a transparent sheet of paper that you would draw the animation on so the animation would all get worked out on paper first and once it all got approved then we go to inking and painting paint they go to cleanup crew to make sure everything looked really clean on paper then it would go to the inking and painting department that they would then have to trace all the drawings with ink onto a transparent sheet of paper. Kind of like a transparency for all of you guys who are old like me and had that in class. We totally had that. And then from there, you would turn over that transparent celluloid and you would paint whatever the colors were on the back of each page, each transparent page. So when you put it that transparent sheet on top of the background painting it looks like that character is supposed to be in the frame fully colored and all of the uh and all of the colors and the line work is exactly where it needs to be so yeah he's gonna have like this kind of mustard yellow underbelly oh there we go And then, oh, trying to turn the whole thing. Um, trying to figure out what color I want to actually make the dragon. Let's say, I don't ever hear much about, like, you hear a lot of green dragons and red dragons. But how often do you get, like, blue dragons? I want a blue. But like a light blue. I don't want to go with super dark blue or anything. Like a light blue. Yeah, I was like a bluish. Eh, there's some purple in there. I don't know why I wanted to start with. Nah, it's a little too purpley. I don't want to just take like figment style. Yeah, let's go more sky blue. Yeah, I like the sky blue better. Da, 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 da. Okay. Here we go. And see, that just makes painting a whole lot easier and coloring him. Because if I if I try to do, like, the drag and drop method, like, you know, how whenever you're on paint, you just do, like, the paint fill. And you try to fill just that area. If there's any little spot that's missing, I have to go through and fix it. And then if I want to fix anything with the outline later, I can't do it or else I'd lose the color. So this way, I get to have full control over the outline and the color, regardless of what stage in the process I'm at. Which, this might look like extra work to some, but 
trust me, I've done it the other way. This is way easier, way simpler, and it's way better just to always have control over... Oh, now! Like, see that? I can just get rid of that one line. Whereas before, I would have had to try to erase it without messing up the outline. And I guess I could still could have pressed undo. But yeah, if I made a mess like if I made a thing like that later and didn't know, then that would be a much bigger headache. Because then I couldn't. I can only. Uh, I can only back up to a certain amount. I know we are over time, but we started late. Number one and number two. I want to at least get them colored. I was going to try to do shading and lighting and all that, but no, we do not have time for that. So we're just going to do a... We're just going to give him a solid color, and that's where we're going to end it. Um, so yeah, he's going to have this blue, and I'm probably going to give him like some pink in his wings. Stuff like that. Jacob, thank you. Uh, when you watch Animal Face Off on Animal Planet, when you can... Oh, yeah! I've I used to watch Animal Face Off all the time. That's actually where I got some of that information. Tigers are... You know, they're used to fighting in the wild all the time, and that's why the tiger won in that instance. And there's a few other ones that taught me that. But, oh my gosh, Animal Face Off. I watched that all the time growing up. I watched it all the time. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in it, totally check it out. Um, they don't play it anymore, at least on Animal Planet. Um, but I think you can probably find a few clips here and there on YouTube. I think I remember finding some not too long ago and just being like... <gasps> Memories all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> that and uh, what was the other one? The most extreme. That was a big show I watched growing up. The most extreme. It's when I first learned about what water bears were. And that sometimes made me mad because I'm like, seriously, y'all. They would do so much that was like, you know, for its size things where it's like, oh, the most extreme strongest animal. The ant! Because of its size. I'm like, ah, oh, but I can squish it. Of course, that was also middle school Brian. Middle school, or preteen Brian was like, well, if I can squish it, it's not that strong. But of course, now I'm like, well, that's actually incredibly impressive and amazing that they could do that stuff. And even young Brian would admit that, but he's also like, but it still just doesn't feel as cool. Um, and Jacob, yeah, let me spin the wheel for you. No! Ah! I accidentally hit undo. And then I started drawing, and so it took the redo away. Oh, ban hammer. We have not gotten that yet. So, Jacob, if you want to try to ban something real quick, you can. Uh, if you don't want to because we're already over time and I'd like to finish, um, I, I'll, I'll spend for something else if you want because I'd rather you not ban anything. Did I ever watch Mythbusters? I watched a little bit of it. It wasn't really my favorite show. But I checked out a couple here and there. Yeah, I know. I'm getting a little bit out of the line here. But I'm also just trying to go quickly because I want to at least try to finish this. Because we started late, and then we had technical difficulties. And it's just not been Monday. So hang on. I'm going to do like a pink in here. For like his, the inside of his wing. Yeah, I'm getting a little out, but I can clean that up in a second. Right now, it's just harder to get those smaller spots, but it's easier to come in here and just kind of clean that up. And then, yeah, I got to do that with this blue. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I like the, the pink really draws it together more than I thought it would. No! Yeah, I think that really looks good. I like that a lot. Like, yeah, I got a little bit of blue here in the middle of the eye. But yeah, we got that. Oh, 
no, that's um, this layer. That's the only bad part with working in layers is like sometimes you see like this random stray line and you're like, why can't I get rid of that? Oh, we found another layer. But, you know, layers make everything easier. Um, I'm going to leave, probably leave his horns white. I don't really see a reason to make them not white. Uh, but I did miss a little bit of blue right here. We'll do that. And then we'll do some black for his eye. But I'm going to do an ink here. And I'm going to do it on the outline layer. I probably could have done this when I made the eye. But I didn't. Give him just a little bit of a highlight here. I don't want to make it too heavy. Because if you make it too heavy, he looks like a preschool character. And I'm like, I don't want to quite do that. Just, you know, show he's like in an area and show that there's light affecting it. Oh, did the screen like froze? Oh my gosh. Cause yeah, now he looks done. Now he's done on my end. What happened? Technology. <laughs> like I said, y'all, this is not my day. This is not my day. It's been a long, long, hard day today. But you know, Hang on. I'm going to try to at least like hop out here for a second and try to get it back up and running. I don't know what happened. Well, I don't know what happened. This app was doing great before. And now it just decided it doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Mm. Well, now it's kind of starting to go. How long was it like that? I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even notice. Okay, it looks like it's trying to catch up now. Okay, there it is. It caught up. It caught up. I don't know why it took that long, but it did. So, sorry. But, yeah, no. So, that's what it, that's what he ended up looking like. I'd like to go through and add some more details and, like, add shading and lighting and stuff. But, you know what? For right now, I, I guess that was it. How did you not notice for 10 minutes? I didn't notice. I'm drawing on my screen, not that screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. You still have, a, oh, we still got a lot of stuff to do. I'm sorry, y'all. My, my head is just, we're having so many issues today. But we're going to do them all. We're gonna do all the things. So first off, we're gonna do the deep voice filter. Huh? So there we go. We got the deep voice filter. Uh, so we got that for three minutes. Okay. So I need to take half or something. No, no, I, I, I took a time. I took a time and all. I, I was speech channeling myself again. I took a time and all right before this, so it's. It's just, there, it's just been a long day, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that does happen when you get into it. I know, I know. Oh my gosh. I think we need two hour drawing streams. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Cause I thought I'd be able to do more than I did today, but I also didn't expect to get Johan as many times as we got. And I wasn't expecting to deal with some of the other stuff I've already had to deal with today, which did not help anything. But, you know, um, we'll get there. And I thought I muted my computer over here because it's really loud. And now I did. Can I do a movie trailer voice? Yeah, yeah, I can. I would do it on this one, but then it would probably sound terrifying where I'm just like, in a world where both our cars are totally underwater. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I, I, I like the way the little dragon guy turned out. I would want to go tweak some things. I still think the horns look a little weird, but I'd still keep their general shape. I just think for them, I think the, the one in the closer perspective to us needs to probably be a little higher. Because right now it looks like they're very off kilter. And I'd want it to look a little not that. That's so low. <laughs> you 
ban the word y'all, of course you do. But I've only got one time. Well, I guess I can do more than one timer. Um, I have to unmute that real quick. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. No! Alexa, stop. Okay, so now I cannot say that word for the next three minutes. So I'm gonna do my best to not say that. And then, uh, yeah, I know after this, I gotta do one more voice. And we'll do that. So yeah, he's a fun little dragon. Logan, thank you. Is your mind still blown from my $100 super chat last stream? Yes, yes it is. And I thank you again for that. Here is your other wheel spin. If you to hear Alexa's voice on the voice filter. Did y'all hear her? Oh gosh. You get a ban hammer too, Logan. Oh goodness. Okay, so that's no more filter, but I still can't say the word. Um, and you want me to do a voice? It's Cinder from Skylanders. Um, hang on. Okay, yeah, I do have that silence, so that shouldn't be a problem. No, I don't like that. I want you to go there. Okay. charged all charged up <laughs> hope that's what you were looking for because the the women voices their heart you love the dragon what's his name um his name is Bentley I don't know why his name is Bentley but his name is Bentley 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 the dragon but you have to say it like that. You can't say Bentley. It's got to be Bentley. With a little blah at the end. Bentley. <laughs> Just kidding. That's crazy. That would that would drive me nuts if I had to say that every time. Bentley. It's Bentley. No, it's Bentley. <laughs> it's Bentley. Like the car? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Raphael, thank you. Uh, favorite Simpsons character? Um, I haven't watched a lot of The Simpsons. But I watched a little bit. It's not bad. Um, I would. For some reason, I like Mr. Burns. Not because he's a good character, but because he's a terrible character. And the fact, he's a horrendous human being, but it's kind of funny how horrendous he is. Kind of like Jack Horner on Puss in Boots, too. I'd say that. <gasps> Yay, Alexa! Stop! Yay! I made it without saying y'all! Booga! Alright. And Logan, do you have a ban as well? Because you got ban hammer as well. Now we're just looking at the dragon now. We're just looking at Bentley. Look into his eyes! Look at it! Look at it! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just me being me being a goofball. Okay. Boop. Cool. Okay, I think I got all of the things other than we're waiting for Logan and his band hammer. All right. How would Jack Black say Bentley's name? Bentley! <laughs> That's right, it's Bentley! <laughs> well, I'd be if you've seen it. I think you'd just be like, Bentley! <laughs> How about you ban the low voice filter? Okay. We'll ban the low voice filter. Um, yeah, we'll set the timer here. I don't want to get... I don't want to get Alexa to do it. There we go. I imagine Bentley having an Irish accent for some reason. I can see that. Ah, hello there. My name's Bentley. Wonderful to see you out and about. I'm happy to be your 
your special dragon to help you through your journey. Why is it a special dragon? That sounded weird. I forget I said that part. My name is Bentley, and I'm here to help you on your journey. It's going to be a long, frightful journey all the way to the top of Mount... Uh... Mount... Collywobbles? I don't know. <laughs> He's going to help you on your journey to the top of Mount Cobby Wobbles. Cobby Wobbles? Collie Wobbles. You can ban it off stream, just saying. <laughs> Does anyone remember that documentary called Dragons of Fantasy Made Real? Yes! Oh my gosh. I totally remember that. Kind of reminds me of Genie from Aladdin. That's probably like just the colors. I think the eyebrows are a little bit similar, but that'd be about it. Yeah, I think it's mainly the colors. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mikkel! Mikkel! Please land on like Hydrate or something. Because we can't keep the stream going forever. Alright, Franken voice. Alright, Mikkel, give me a Franken voice. Mikkel, please. Ah. Well, at this point, yeah, I should have just given him shadows and highlights and everything because he kept going a lot longer than I expected. Uh, he guards the pot he guards the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <gasps> what? <laughs> Logan, thank you. Can you make his voice a dopey Irish? Hi, a dopey Irish. Well, that actually kind of sounds pretty fun. Hi, hello there. I'm here to help you on your journey up to Mount Collywobbles. I actually really like this voice now. I really like that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Hi, hello there. I'm here to help you on your journey to the top of Mount Collywobbles. <laughs> oh, that was fun! Oh, I like him. I like him a lot. He's not a leprechaun. No, but he's Irish. You know, leprechauns aren't the only people with Irish accents. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? <laughs> oh, you said that's Johnny. No, I'm looking at Johnny over here. That is not Johnny. Although, I I can see maybe a few minor similarities. But, you know, he doesn't have the ears like Johnny's got. He doesn't have the red hair. The horns are very different. The, the nose is very different. He's got big old teeth sticking out. He doesn't have a beak. He's got a big old bottom lip. Uh, and he's green. He's actually very different. But he has, like, a similar body type, I guess. And he's got a yellow underbelly. It's got a few similarities. Oh, we got the Franken voice? Okay. Stitch and Drake. Oh, of course. Everyone wants to see a Kraken, but the possibilities of seeing one are point zero, 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 zero. Oh, oh. Trying to think of something else that Ludwig von Drake says. Can I think of that? It's time to explore the wonders of the deep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, ATM. Walter Walter Lands would say bravo. Well, thank you. Thank you. Alright, so with that, I think we need to end the stream for today. You don't have that angle that's staring down at my soul like before thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh don't forget to come next week now remember as i said at the beginning of the stream there's no longer going to be a stream on wednesday i know that's the day that dreamlight valley comes out the, with the new update and we will cover it on thursday but i cannot do it wednesday unfortunately so the new schedule for next week is going to be monday regular time we're doing super mario sunshine thursday we'll be doing the new update in disney dreamlight valley regular time and then friday will be our hangout and impressions uh so yeah and as a reminder to all of the members we have a members li uh, member stream this sunday and i know i sent out a, a thing earlier for the time and the votes are in it looks like we're doing 3 to 4 p.m pacific standard time on sunday so i hope to see you guys there if you are a, an epic holomaniac member 
I will see you guys then. And to everyone else, have an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys Monday. Bye. Bye.